today I'm going to set up a new wait period. Hello, welcome to Going In Griffith. Here we talk everything beekeeping, farming, countryside living, and we do reviews as well. Now, today I've got a bit of time this afternoon. I'm going to go down to one of my new wait periods. I'm going to just set the hive stands and talk a little bit about health and safety, what to look for when you're picking a site and where best to put bees. So I'm loaded up, let's go. Okay, so we're at the new site. It's blowing a gale here, so I've parked the truck behind the camera. Hopefully that's not interfering the mic too much. So first thing you consider when you're setting up a new site is people. You don't want people by your site. So just on a site there, the road is there and the hedge is there. Just a great barrier between public and people walking and driving on the road and my hives are gonna be here. So normally I'd have my entrance pointing at the hedge. On this site, it's gonna be quite the opposite. I'm gonna be pointing the entrance this way. There's a massive valley there. No people, no danger. It's a fantastic spot to put the entrance to face that way and straight away we're on an elevated ground here and the ground just drops straight away so it's a slopey ground there no one's gonna be walking there and if anybody's walking on the bottom and the bees are flying way above their head so that's spot on another thing to think about here the gate is that way the drinker is that way so there's gonna be livestock um, stay in there holding there on the drinker by the gate so I don't want my bees there at all and likewise with the hedge, another reason I don't want my bees there, the land down here gets a tractor and hedge cutter to come in here to cut the hedge, so I don't want my bees blocking access onto the hedge. Now even though we're here in winter, this is a lovely winter spot, the ground, there's not much soil here so it's free draining, I just drove in here, have a mat the ground whatsoever so that's another big thing. You want to be able to drive up to the site. Now I can drive up to this site, no problem whatsoever. You don't want to be making things hard for yourself. And like you've got to carry everything over fences and gates. You want to be able to drive right up to it. So there's nothing left here for me to do now. Got my spade. I'm going to build these stands or place them where I want them. And uh, then I'll show you the reason uh, what shape or organization of the stands that I've done and explain why I've done that. So 10 minutes here digging and leveling and uh, I'll get back to you. Right that's the hive stands all in place now. now I'm super excited for this site so you can see in the back all that wooded area, apparently the landowners told me that is actually full chocker block with bluebells. Now I only discovered just last year that the MRSA fighting honey, so the honey that kills MRSA comes from two main plants in Wales and that's the dandelion and the bluebell. You might get some fantastic spring honey full of bluebell nectar off this site so can't wait to see what this site produces no i haven't quite finished this today obviously i need to bring the bees into site and when i bring the bees i'm going to cover my stands with sheep hurdles so it's much much easier than building a permanent fence that's just you clip it all in place and that keeps the livestock out. So the only livestock I've got to worry about here are some horses and some sheep. That's not going to be a major problem. Cows is the major problem when it comes to having hives out in fields because they are rough and uh, very inquisitive. They just want to get their big nose in everywhere. So sheep hurdles around these bees when they get here. zigzag shape in the stand. That's just to add a little bit of pattern so every hive doesn't point in the same direction just to try and reduce 
the chance of drifting and queens coming back uh, mated properly if they need to go out and mate. So I just had a little bit of path in there. I'm trying to move it forward, get away from the, the one massive line and all the heights pointing in exactly the same direction. Just trying to get a couple of degrees difference in every hive. So that's it. That's how I set up a hive stand or set up an apiary. And of course, every site is different. You just need to do your risk assessment. Look for people, look for animals, look for high traffic points. Think at what level the bees are going to be flying because you want anybody walking underneath that level. So hopefully you've gained a bit of knowledge from this video. And if you like this video and you want to watch more of the same kind of content, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I try my best to put a new video out every week.